Item number SCP-5303. Index No Eyed Girl. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5303 is to be housed in a standard humanoid containment chamber. 1. D-Class personnel linked to SCP-5303's sense of sight is to remain in the chamber, allowing for SCP-5303 to see its surroundings. This D-Class is not allowed to interact with SCP-5303 further. Description SCP-5303 is a mute 1.6 meter tall female humanoid the eye sockets of which are covered with skin. SCP-5303 is capable of seeing by hijacking the sense of sight from nearby individuals, allowing it to see from their perspective. Subjects under this effect are incapable of seeing their surroundings and will instead perceive white light. Subjects will auditorily perceive the thoughts of SCP-5303 in this state, although a majority of its thoughts are unintelligible and incohesive. Comprehensible thoughts show that SCP-5303 has prominent feelings of romantic loneliness. Personnel around SCP-5303 often report experiencing sensations of scopesthesia. The sensation of being watched. These claims are currently under investigation. Addendum 5303-1 Discovery SCP-5303 was discovered on 2020-02-29 after a civilian hunter reported a sighting of a female without eyes or eye sockets in a Utah forest grove. Following this, Foundation agents cordoned off the area and placed an observation camera at the location to investigate the credibility of these reports. At 20.04.30 on the same date, local college student Carl Nijiki broke the perimeter and entered the surveillance area. The following was then recorded. Begin log. Nijiki sits on a tree branch for two minutes, appearing to be nervous. SCP-5303 emerges from an adjacent hole between several tree roots, along with a large quantity of smoke. Nijiki, you're here. Nijiki stands. SCP-5303 walks over to Nijiki, stopping in front of him. Finally. Now, okay, I know it's been long. I know. I've missed you. You missed me too? SCP-5303 remains still. Chuckles. You've always not been much of a talker. Pause. Wait, shoot. I wrote a poem. I spent a bit on it. It's... It's not too good. But it's about you. I wrote it about you. Nijiki searches through his backpack. He becomes panicked and dumps its contents on the ground. At this point, observing Foundation agents notice this event and begin their approach to its location. It's... it's not here. Did I... did I drop it? No, my bag was zipped. I couldn't have. I left it home, maybe. I can run and get it. It's not too good, but you may like it. You may, if you like bad poems, that is. Nijiki chuckles, and then starts to head out of frame. He abruptly stops and turns around. Really? Nijiki stumbles back towards SCP-5303, tripping over a tree branch in the process. He regains his footing, standing in front of SCP-5303. I may... Well, I may need to see for this. Pause. Well... If you insist. Nijiki puckers his lips, leaning towards SCP-5303. Twenty-eight pairs of disembodied eyes appear in the air around Nijiki, staring at him. The eyes occasionally make brief glances at SCP-5303. SCP-5303 smirks and moves away from Nijiki. Nijiki disappears, leaving only his eyes behind. His eyes quickly dart in all directions staring at the other eyes and at SCP-5303. Agents reach the location, immediately shooting SCP-5303 with a tranquilizer gun. It collapses, and the eyes begin demanifesting one pair at a time. Nijiki's eyes stare at the agents, quivering slightly, 
before demanifesting. End log. Investigation of SCP-5303's entry point showed nothing of interest remaining. SCP-5303 was then placed into Site-24 containment, where it has passively remained since. Nijiki's disappearance was dismissed to the public as an ordinary missing persons case. Subsequent investigation of Nijiki's college dormitory room found a small journal on his desk, the last page of which is believed to be directly describing SCP-5303. Brown tree root hair grows from sandy skin. Where your eyes are not, I see my love begin. Your smooth voice in my head, like a calming wave. When I'm you, I feel there's so much to save. With you in my sight, I don't mind. You can have my eyes anytime.